Hi, I'm Terry Henry uh, with Public School 612. I'm here with Chef Phil Castell, who's in charge of menu development for this new concept opening in downtown LA. Uh, we had a tasting today, and now I would like to uh, I would like Phil to go through some of the menu items that we're going to be serving at uh, Public School 612. Uh, Phyllis, so what do we have here? It looks like uh, we're starting with some type of cured meat platter. A charcuterie plate that we'll be offering, and we're doing uh, four different types of salami as well. And what we have here, the first one, is a tartufu salami, and the tartufu salami is very interesting. It's studded with black truffles throughout the entire salami, so it's very aromatic. Uh, but this salami here, this was made by a local couple out of Utah, who were born and raised making salamis in Italy. And they brought their ways um, and the style of making salami from Italy to Utah. And wow. so this is one of the salamis we're using. So this one's really interesting. What, 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 tell me about this one. That one is called Enduya. Enduya is a soft spreadable salami. And this we got from Chris Costino's restaurant up in San Francisco. And he has a restaurant in Pier 39, and this is his recipe. And we're using it in two different ways, uh, one on the charcuterie plate, and also we're making some sauces in the kitchen with it. It dissolves nicely and adds a lot of flavor. And this is some type of prosciutto, it looks it like. It is. It's a speck, which is a smoked prosciutto, boneless uh, leg of ham that and we're using. served with a nice uh, grain mustard. Whole grain and, mustard, uh, a little bit of toast points, and then some caper berries, which add a nice little crunch to it. Looks delicious. Thank you. Okay, next, it looks like we have a very interesting cheese assortment in front of us. This is, our, this. this is our artisan cheese board that will change periodically here at public school. We decided to focus on local uh, creameries and local farmers for our cheese. So the first cheese we have here is a humble fog uh, goat cheese. One of my favorites. Fantastic. I actually knew that. So <laughs> humble fog came from uh, is up in Humboldt County in Northern California, and it has a little bit of vegetable ash through the center of it. Adds a lot of flavor. As opposed to mold. Opposed to mold. It's ash. Correct. It is ash. Mm -hmm. uh, the next cheese next to it is a Grafton cheddar. Uh, it is from uh, Grafton in Vermont. It is a beer truckle cheese. And what it is, it's washed with beer on the outside of the rind. May I taste it? Absolutely. That's fabulous. It's good, right? It's very good. Nice aged cheddar cheese. Very good. Next cheese over here is a papato, and a papato is a pecorino style cheese, mm. uh, and it's studded with black peppercorns, as so you can see throughout. Cheese. A drier cheese, yes. And what we decided to do is serve it with a little bit of Marcona almonds, a little bit of honeycomb, which Very is kind nice. of interesting. Nice touch. Yep, and a little bit of balsamic onions, and again with some crostinis as well. Sounds delicious. Thank you. Public School 612 for an education in the art of food and beer. Classes in session, spring 2011.